it is at this very moment that I finally get to share, after 16 years of being on YouTube, my greatest build ever. See, for the people that are still watching, I have been here for a very, very long time. And a while back, I retired from doing YouTube full time, allowing my hobby to become a hobby once again. But this also allowed me to hang out with my son quite a bit. And he is a chip off the old block. Is that what we say these days? That goes to show you how long I've been on this platform. <laughs> My son has been working with Lego and watching the radio control hobby through his dad's works for ever since he was born and become something that I once dreamt of being, a master builder. Hello, Mr. Morris. Hello. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa. Everybody Whoa. remembers you Hi. as being a kid yeah. uh, that was on the back of a semi-truck trailer as a little baby. I remember that. Yeah. Being introduced to the world, and here you are, a giant. Yep. Almost as tall as you. In, in, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Almost, look at this, straight straight across. Yeah. Almost as tall as death. We are in your room, your creative center. Yep. Right? You have... Your, some of your Lego Technics, some of the builds yep. you've done, but you have done some, they, they've seen the thumbnail. Yeah, but they've, they have. They have never seen anything like what you have done because I think you have done something incredible. Take it away. Thank you. Here is the new R Lego RC. What is this, guys? The scale of this. What are we? This is this is Dad's hand. This is RC Spark's hand. Yeah, compared to one of the tires. Look at this. This thing is. If I was to say what size this is, it is getting. I would say it is one sixteenth scale. Uh, we can't fit a tenth scale driver in there. No. But look at that. Oh. A light bar on the top. A working winch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. The, I, I got to ask you some questions about yeah. this right away. Yeah? So, what did you make this out of? What did you make it out of? First, I made it out of Lego Technic and right. some of my favorite Lego Technic sets. Now, Ooh. yeah, so this was one of the ones that survived. This is your yeah. Optimus Prime. Yep, yeah, this is my Optimus Prime. Wow, did you and did you build this all by yourself? Yep. With which which ones did you take apart then to make this? I took apart a John Deere log skidder, which has like a crane on it. That was huge, dude. Was that had the claw on it. Yeah, right. That was Here, these here's a little bit of it that is still slightly remaining. No way. That's the claw. So sick. But where's the rest of it? Right here. In pieces? Yeah. Didn't you have that for like a year? Oh yeah, I did. But you know, if I wasn't playing with it, then why is it a toy? Why I do need... you have it? Yeah, it was on display. I... Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's great, but I needed to play with it. <laughs> was it See, hard to take it apart? Oh yeah, definitely. If other kids were thinking about doing this, young adults, should, should they take the leap? Yeah. Were you at all, when you're in the middle of building this, feeling like you had destroyed something you had loved? Fifteen times. <laughs> Count them up. No. Uh, are you happy you did it? Yeah, I am. So, I destroyed a Peugeot race car. I was going to say, what's all the gray from? That's right. A Peugeot race car. What? And make, made it into a... Um, off-road truck with the big ginormous tires I, with back suspension with back suspension and a back box yep with yep, a functioning back. tailgate yep. guys with a suspension he designed this entire frame and chassis under here and then built a a, 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 a body on top he did all, can you flip that upside down to show people what's okay. underneath because 
This is the best RC video I have ever created. I can turn it on if you And want it's to see. because of your amazing work. Yeah, well, I want to see what we're looking at first. Like, can you explain some of the challenges you had with the steering? How many well, versions of this vehicle did you have to come up with? With the steering? Uh, how many versions of this vehicle? Like, 20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of work. So, this steering is, if you see, control arm. Um, drive shaft and then another suspension arm on top. Can you show us, um, you know, the rack and pinion? Can you show us the steering actually functioning? Oh, heck yeah, I just need to turn them right on. There is so much to discover so about I this, open guys. This up, and then I turn that on, I close it, I turn on the remote. All his design. He was. Yeah. Oh my god, not working. No, it's okay. Is you is this radio? Is this battery okay? Oh, oh. Ta -da! There we go. Oh, Turn that's the magic of TV. There we go. Now close that up. <laughs> now let's see her. Right, back to the steering. And so so it's you have proportional steering on there. Because I'm, I'm showing the blue gears under there right now that's rolling the rack. Yeah, the rack that is connected to um, the a ball joint piece. That's the, that's the yeah. CVD. Constant right velocity the, drive. Yeah. Dude, and so before it was either just clunk or clunk with the servos yep. that you have. And it's not servos. It's like a motor yeah. that is a servo, but it's in the shape of a motor. It, yeah. it, it's yeah. odd. It's not a yeah. square. Like, here's the thing. You can there see the uh, gear moving right now. Or, yeah. yeah, you can see. Well, yeah. it's in there. But that one motor is controlling the steering. And this motor, right back here. Three motors. Yeah, and this motor up here is controlling the... So is there a motor for front and a motor for back? Yep. That's exactly what we're explaining to everybody. Yep. And so here's his suspension back here. Look at this. Give that a... Yep, exactly. Compression. Independent too. Yep. Did you design that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Now flip it over and show us the design of your winch. Did I Dad help you with any of this? No. Oh, no, no, he no. didn't. Not at all. Okay, so then I just... Wait, there's a motor for your winch? That's four motors. Yeah. Son, what kind of gear is this? That is a worm gear. Good boy. <laughs> Best build ever. Look at the um, gear reduction he's got on there. Super strong winch. This can actually pull the truck itself. Oh yeah, and it's real heavy. It is. For being a Lego build, there is a lot here. Yeah, there really is. Yeah, I'll hold it nice and tight for you. There you go. Go ahead, roll it in. Bring roll it back it in. in. Yeah, bring it back in. Don't worry, I won't. I won't let it pull forward. So I know everybody right now might be saying, your tires are on backwards. Well, it's just good for climbing and gripping. I'm not going through mud. This is the Lego machine. What did you think it was? Klein action. He knows it's a Chevron tire and it's supposed to spit mud out the side. But when you're moving forward, this almost acts like a claw, right? Yeah. Yes. So do you have a light bar on this thing? Oh, yes, I do. What? A light bar right up here. Did you design this? All of it. <laughs> and also, you can open up the top just to see the and also some of the inside workings. So. so there's the differential on the inside. Do you have a locked differential or an unlocked differential? Unlocked differential. How about I just turn it over wow. and you can see right now. What? So then I make it go forward. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm super proud. See, so unlock differential, guys. You'd think lock differential, but the weight of this machine here, it's almost better. Like, it, it we would love, love for it to be ultimate capable, but truly, because it's made of plastic, there is limitations yeah. with power. All of it. Power, that's right. Oh, is that door opening, sir? Yeah. Oh, very nice steering wheel on the inside. Yeah, what? there's seats, a nice area to put your coffee and things. And... Dude, so I call you Mo mm -hmm. and uh, Momen. 
And this is the Peugeot know. moment. Yeah. Th this is incredible, dude. That's all the things I can open. Oh, and also that. Dude, there's only one thing to do, and that's to take it out. He needs more Lego. We got to finish the front. <laughs> Dad, the Dad, I got all the Lego. No! I need more. No! Shall we go outside and run it around in the rain a bit? Yeah, that yeah. seems really yeah. nice. Oh, I hear our rooster that. likes that idea, Let's too. Let's do that. <laughs> I wish I could take credit for building that, right but uh, that. none. Dude. Dude, best awesome. build ever. Front face. That's front it covers face. your entire face, dude. Dude. It's huge. That's my face beside it. Dude, I, I have to tell you, you were not happy to take apart your other Technics. No, no, but no, 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 but now I am. The result is phenomenal. Dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Dave. Turn on. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Congratulations. So right now it's working on a 2.4 gigahertz setup. This thing is a beast, dude. Thank you. Uh, no, thank you. This was my entire career leading up to this point to watch my son build his own RC design that was baller. I think that the student has surpassed the teacher at this point. The torch has been passed. Yes! <laughs> I accomplished my goal! <laughs> Dude, awesome! This is so sick in so many ways. Look at the differential, the ring and pinion in there. I know, can you show me the rack again? Move the rack again. So sick how you have that set up, good sir. Thank you. Oh, shoot, oh. <laughs> I hear the rooster approves. Dude, that's awesome. So this runs on a rechargeable battery box. What do you think, Arthur? Oh, uh oh, hi buddy. Come to dad. There you go, buddy. <laughs> so how far away can you drive that machine then, Morris? Let's see. Where you're over here, so I'm gonna come to you. Yeah. Okay, you stay there. Okay, let's see. Okay. You're quite a far away now. Dude. Great. Dude. Look how far it is. Still going. It's like a dot. And this is all from this little transmitter right here. Right here. Remarkable. And it goes into the wet sand. Dude. Incredible that it's still picking up signal on there. Oh, I love this. I've had some amazing radio control vehicles on this channel. Would you agree? Yes. This is certainly one of the most unique that we have ever had on this channel. And it is because of you. Thank you. 100% proud of you, dude. Dude. It looks so cool going through the water. Little bump, it's nothing. How long have you been working with Lego? Working with Lego since I was three. Yeah, and you, so years and years, yeah. almost a full yeah. decade. Yeah, almost. That's insane. And then I came out with this. You're a great engineer, Mr. Moman. That, that is worth a like click from dad. Dude. This this is one of the videos I'm going to like click myself. <laughs> How can I not? It looks sick in the rain, dude. That's awesome. I think with the amount of dudes we've said, we're going to have to move to California, dude. Dude, dude. seriously, dude? <laughs> what? Dude. Now, understandably, being a Technics, there are some limitations to taking it out onto rocks and things, and the weight of the plastic, but look at this, man. Off-roading. <laughs> Very good, son. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm gonna have to get him another few motors. <laughs> This is 
the greatest day of my life. Same here. And I owe it all to you. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. Yeah!